All right. Uh, what we also want to do, because there's public hearing, and I don't want to have people waiting around because sometimes our meetings can go just a little bit long. So what we'd like to do is we'll do visitors' comments first, and then we'll go into the public hearing. So this way you don't have to stay around uh, later for doing that. So we're going to do visitors' comments, and this is uh, not related to the public hearing, but visitors' comments as we would have normal. So does anybody want to speak on this side? Please step up. <laughs> Please state your name and where you live. My name is Renee Buxton. I live in LaGrange Park. I have a daughter that graduated in 2010 and a son that is currently a freshman here. Um, my daughter had a wonderful experience here at RB and has been very well prepared for college and is doing very well with that. And I'm hoping that my son can have similar experiences and I know we're facing very difficult economic decisions. One of the things that I'd like to address to you is the um, outside funding for eliminate, eliminated clubs policy that you put in place. I feel that the school could do more to facilitate this process. Currently there is no communication to parents to let them know that someone is trying to resurrect a, cl a club. If there could be some way to get this information to parents, possibly on the website or through Skyward, more parents could be involved in the process. Freshman parents especially don't know what is going on since their child was not a previous member of the club. Also, as far as funding, the current policy and procedures make it very frustrating for parents that would like to solicit fees donation from the parents of the members of the club. I understand that some families are entitled to fee waivers and that confidentiality must be maintained, but without the school's assistance, there is no clear way to pursue that avenue. As it was indicated at one of your board meetings, most of the outside funding is not going to be coming from some outside magical fairy, but rather from the parents. I would like the board to reconsider the current procedures and involvement in helping the parents to make these clubs available to our students. Also on another item that I'd like to um, make a comment on is that I would like to say that I value the work the administrators do here at RB but I'm having a hard time understanding the raises that were given to them recently if it was not a contractual obligation. Those funds could have been used to pay for some of the programs for our kids that have been eliminated. In order for the board to earn the trust of the community, I think that it is important for you to provide your reasoning for these increases. Again, I'd like to reiterate that I feel the staff is deserving of raises but I just lack an understanding on my part, and I think many community members do also. And then on one last item is, um, since the Committee of the Whole meetings are now regularly scheduled, I would like the board to consider taping those meetings so that they can be broadcast on RBTV also. From speaking with Dr. Skinkis, I understand that there may not have been money originally budgeted for that, but for the sake of transparency, it is important for people to know what is being discussed at those me meetings since we have very important decisions. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, anybody else on this side like to speak? <clears throat> anybody on this side like to speak? Please step up, state your name, and where you're from. My name is Gary Zeleny, and I am the current Booster Club president. And I would uh, Gary, like to... Gary, where are you from? Stay oh, I'm from. sorry. I'm from Riverside, 228 Lawton, Riverside. Um, I apologize for rehashing this. We, I had spoken to you as a, in a private meeting, and we just thought that it would be good to get this out in a public meeting, so if you will indulge me. On July 20th of this year, Eric Duvey, representing the Booster Club, met with the school board president, Mr. Cindy, Superintendent Skinkas, Principal Bleisma, and Athletic Director Ostro regarding a change that they were proposing that adversely affects the 2011 and 12 Booster Club. I also met in early August with Mr. Skinkus regarding the matter. The change presented by the school board and administration was to remove um, the benefit of free gate admission with a paid $50 membership for the Booster Club. After protesting this change, an alternative proposal was made by the administration and board, and that was to have the Booster Club reimburse the school for every member's gate admission. 
As the booster club was preparing for the upcoming school year, this new development caught the club off guard as it was only presented to us five days before registration began. Registration is where we sign up 90% of our membership. Up until that moment, no discussion had taken place between the club and the school regarding any policy changes. Because of the policy change, we felt it would be unfair to charge people to join the booster clubs. Therefore, we did not have a membership sign up at the time. Membership dues are a major contrib contribution to the booster revenue and eliminating the benefit of gate admission, free gate admission would greatly reduce the booster membership. Alternatively, having boosters reimburse the school for all members attending sporting events would significantly impact our revenue and ultimately how much we can give back to the school. We feel this financial decision by the administration and board is flawed. While the school may see slight increase from gate revenue, we doubt it will be anywhere near the contributions the boosters made to the, to the team, all sporting teams every year. The math is simple. RB Athletics will lose many thousands of dollars due to this decision. Unfortunately, the ultimate victims as a result, result of this proposal will be the student athletes and their families. Due to the booster's current state, the athletic department is in the process of creating parent groups for each sport. Instead of bringing together the 26 different sporting teams, you've now just created another wall amongst the athletic families. Who will water polo and swimming go to next time they need a scoreboard or training videos or water polo balls? They likely can't afford these items as an individual team. With boosters, this support has been provided as an option for all teams. The Booster Club believes in the philosophy of 500 athletes, 26 sports, but only one team, RB High School. How much time will, will our coaches and athletic director have to spend on organizing and overseeing all these parent clubs? How much time will it take away from the job they were hired to do, coaching our kids? They should not have to worry about fundraising for capital expenses. That's what, that's what the Booster Club did and did well. The Booster Club has donated over $122,000 in athletic equipment during the past five years and has been able to support every team from football, cheerleading, badminton, track, soccer, wrestling, and even the chess team. We also <coughs> provide the male and total you know it's it's not a group where in the past people said you know people are getting paid off with things this is this every every dime is accounted for and it's all available online and and here so i thank you for your time thank, thank you. you thanks anybody else on this side want to speak all right seeing them we're going to close the visitor statement and we're going to suspend our meeting and move into a public hearing on the 2011-2012 budget. Matt? Yeah. Uh, because Mr. Zelny is probably here for um, item C, did you want to do that or? I want to do, I just want to get the visitor's comments out and we'll go from there. All right. 